now everybody may have heard of the new jelly pop collection it's a limited edition summer line watermelon some of you may have had a hard time finding it it is only available at ulta ulta.com or on the elf website i went to go see the lion king premiere on the day it came out and across the street from the movie theater was an ulta store lo and behold it was on the shelf it wasn't the full collection i was happy to just find anything i've been out and about shopping for my kids back to school shopping um, today it was about 103 105 where i'm at when you go out in the hot sun, you know your skin gets sticky, sweaty. So I had on the full collection and I used my powder mineral foundation. This Jelly Pop Dew Primer, it actually makes your skin look really radiant and just um, healthy. <sighs> this is the Dew Primer. I am not gonna put it on my face. We all know what a primer is like. When I used this, my face was not feeling sticky, it was not overly shiny, it was not uncomfortable. If I would have gave you a review when I first opened the package, I would have said I hated it, okay? You have to wear it all day to get an honest review. So, I won't be trying it on my face because I already have my powder foundation on, I already have primer on. I will put it on my hand. It's very liquidy, runny, it's clear. The smell is like, slight gluey smell like a watermelon water smell I don't like primers normally primers are not my thing on any oh my gosh <laughs> but this right here I don't know if that's the truth but if it is I'm sure the milk primer is more expensive this is very affordable I have a primer I like finally that I can use and I'm not you know, worried about it moving all over the place. I purchased these products with my money. So I wasn't given these by Elf. This is my own honest opinion and I, I love it. Flush but blush, berry pop. Like it says, <laughs> this berry color. I don't know what the other color was because they have two. My Ulta only had one available. It looks like pudding, like a thinner pudding. Mm. So yeah, we putting pudding on our face. We have some here. Just gonna apply it like lightly on my cheeks. And I don't have a stippling brush, so I'm just gonna rub this in. It dries so quickly. Okay, so we're gonna go to the other side. Boom, 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 boom. I'm just tapping it and we're gonna rub it in. And I use this Kabuki brush. That is it. I like that it's simple. I like that it's subtle, pretty, pink color it just makes you look alive and radiant this is another thing i don't use you guys i'm not a contour person i'm not a blush person this jelly pop flush blush i definitely would use this because it's not overpowering just those little dots and then brush it in i'm loving it i think it is great for daytime on to the next one this is the jelly pop face and eye gloss and this one is in icy pop they do have another color for this one as well. Um, my location did not have it. Out of all the products, I love this. It's like little icicles. Just in time for the movie Frozen. Pretty, I don't know if everybody can see that. Look at how pretty that is. It has little glitter or sparkles. I don't know what they put in it. This is like a sheen. So it says, it's a face and eye gloss. I don't want it all over my eyelids because it is glossy. One thing I don't like about glossy eye products, when you close your eyes or you like you lift your eyes up and the crease of your eyes, it sticks together. I don't like that feeling. I'm just taking a little and I'm putting it in the corner of my eyes. This is how I wore it all day. Easy to apply. If you're not a makeup person, it just highlights your eyes, draws everybody up to your eyes. If you want more glow, if this blush is not enough for you, you can use this just right here on the upper cheekbone near your eye. And we can just brush that in on both sides. It adds extra highlight to your cheekbone area. Do you guys see that? Mm. I know you guys have seen the body glosses all over the place. Every single cosmetic creator 
has came out with body gloss. I've been using them for years before this little boom. There's a lot of glosses that I've been wanting to try. Honestly, they're expensive. They smell good, they look good, but I have kids. Like I can't break my pockets for $65 on a body gloss when I could be buying my kids some shoes or clothes or whatever. This stuff right here, look at this. It's not just for your face. It is summertime and you wanna sparkle all over. Why do we have to limit it to just our face? I am going to glow. Can we see it? The glow. This is my favorite product of the whole line. This glow. So I put on this lipstick and the other use I have for this body gloss is a lip topper. We're gonna rub. If you want your lipstick to just pop, you're out, you can put a little of that on your lip and it is beautiful. This is a versatile product. So we're just gonna remove that. A plus L. This is something that is affordable for me and I can carry it everywhere. And on to the next one. So this is the Juicy Gloss. The location I bought my products from, they had all three glosses, the watermelon, the cherry, and the grape. But you know what? I figured the watermelon has to be comparable to the cherry in color selection. So I just got the cherry and the grape. This gloss has hyaluronic acid in it, avocado oil, coconut oil, castor oil. Those are the oils that are going to make your lips moisturized and supple. This is the cherry pop color and it's a very subtle pink color. It has like this taste to it. <laughs> it's not a natural taste. It tastes like I don't know what the flavor is. But I will say this gloss is very smooth when you rub your lips. It makes your lips look very juicy. Out of the two, the cherry and the grape, I like the grape flavor, or I should say grape color. Doesn't have that flavor, like the unnatural flavor that's in the red one. When you wear a gloss, you're gonna lick your lips. So one pointer that I would have for e.l.f. is that your next product that you come out for the lips, maybe add some flavor to it. I would suggest doing just a universal sweet taste. Not a synthetic sweet, but real sweet, like a natural sweet. Most men, when they kiss, they're woman, it's like pheromones, like they're gonna wanna kiss you more. It's like this flavor that they're attracted to. A little bit of sweetness would be a plus for this. Um, my real thoughts on this product is that I, I really like it. It really makes your lips look healthy. It makes your lips look plump. I don't know, it makes your lips kinda look three-dimensional shine. It's not sticky, it's silky, and it's affordable, it's e.l.f. Um, I think they did a good job. I really wanted to try the water moisturizer and I really wanted to try the cleanser. If you guys wanna see me do a video on those items when I locate them, please let me know in the comments. If you wanna see more from me, I'm gonna be doing several videos next week. I also have another video coming out this week. And I thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe.